Hi, thank you for turning on the DVD. Thank you for being part of a small group. I hope that it's helpful as you fellowship together and walk together in the light together. And, uh, and, and today we're thinking a bit more about fellowship with God. And John writes about it in the first few verses of 1 John chapter 4, uh, 1 John chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. And, and I hope you've had a chance to read that uh, together. Uh, when John's writing this, he's thinking about Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth became formless and empty, and darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And so, uh, Fellowship 101 really is, is God hovering over our chaos, hovering over our mess, to sort out our problems as he shines his light into those difficulties. And, and uh, some of us do that all the time, don't we? We stumble from crisis to crisis, difficulty to difficulty, um, formless empty chaos to formless empty chaos. And, and all the time we're calling on God to shine his light into this mess, to hover over the whole thing. And, and that's part of our fellowship with God. And it's a very valuable thing. And, and I believe John's thinking about that as he writes this. Yeah, I love um, the way that John writes. He's, he's got such a solid view of how he writes. You know, the start of his gospel, the start of his, his writing is all very much the same. It's all focused on this one idea. And I just love the idea of light overcoming everything around it. It's like when you light a candle in a dark room and yeah. you can actually see everything when you couldn't see anything before. And it's, it's a really powerful imagery for us to take forwards because often when, when you're shining a torch or a light in the dark, it's often because you can't see the way that you're going. And so using that idea of God being our light, God being able to give us a vision across what we're going to do or our path forward. Yeah, it's, I think it's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So that's sort of Fellowship 101, God shining the light into the chaos. And then, and then he's thinking about what he wrote in his gospel, because at the beginning of his gospel, as, as David just said, it's, it's, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And, and then it talks about the light shining into the darkness, and the darkness not overcoming it. And then in, later on in the Gospel, Jesus is the light of the world. And so you've got this word, Jesus, and you've got this light uh, of Christ. And beginning, uh, sorry, at the beginning of the Gospel, end of, of chapter 1, it talks about those who received him. He gave power to become the children of God. And uh, later on in 1 John, he says, we're children of God. That's what we are. And, and this idea that our fellowship with God is because we've become his child, because he's our father, because he loves us, looks out for us, looks over us, looks to us, and, and we have his image, and we receive his discipline, and we reflect his character. And that, that fellowship, that intimacy with knowing that we're born of God, John says in one point in his gospel, doesn't he, that we're born of the spirit, born again, uh, we become part of his family. You're a child of God. That's Fellowship 102, really. It's a beautiful truth. Yeah, I think that word intimacy is really important, isn't it? Because we, when we become heirs to, to God as sons and daughters, mm -hmm. we get the inheritance of the Holy Spirit as part of that. And having the Spirit, the same Spirit that hovered over the waters as, as part of us and part of our entire existence is so powerful. And once we start to understand that and understand that, the Holy Spirit is around us constantly. You know, sometimes we, we call out for the Holy Spirit to come and join us, but he's already here and he's always around us. Mm. And once we start to learn that in the kind of fellowship yeah. manner, it's, it's, it makes such a difference. In our yeah. Lives. yeah. So John brings all of that stuff to writing this epistle. And, and then he says, we've seen, we've heard, we've touched, we've, we, we proclaim it to you. And, and I would just encourage you, you know, you, you've heard, you've heard of Christ, you've heard of, but you've heard God as well. You've heard him prophetically, you've heard him through the scriptures, you've heard him uh, through, through nature, you've heard him in each other, you've heard God. And, and that's part of our fellowship with him, to hear him. Uh, you've seen God, you've seen him, not in the way that John had in the flesh, but you've seen him at work in people, you've seen him at work in your life, you've seen him bring... Uh, difficult situations into something that's that's glorious. You've seen God at work in all sorts of ways. You, you've seen him in the sunset. You've seen him in other people. You, you've seen him in the bread and wine. You've seen him. And, and part of our fellowship is to develop that seeing. 
Then it says you've touched him, you've reached out, you've connected. There's a heart to heart, spirit to spirit connection with, with the holy and uh, with, with God himself. And, and part of our fellowship is to connect, to touch heaven and to pull heaven uh, into the earth. And then it's we proclaim him. Uh, part of our fellowship with God is as he stands alongside us as we speak and he speaks in us and through us and, and as we, we declare the goodness of God and give our testimony and tell people about Jesus, he is with us and there's a fellowship in, in that too. Mm, yeah, I think so when Jesus talks about the kingdom of God is near, that's, that's what this fellowship is all about. Yeah. So he says it multiple times throughout the Gospels that the kingdom of God is near and when we meet with the Holy Spirit, when we touch him, when we we are close to him, we are bringing heaven on earth and that is that's what our existence is about. Absolutely, absolutely. Have fun as you talk about this stuff. It says here that um, we write these things so that you know, our joy may be complete because there's joy in this fellowship with, with God. God is light, in him there's no darkness at all. So have a great, open, fun time tonight as you talk about fellowship with God and how you deepen that. And, uh, and I trust that that will spill over into our relationships with each other too. Bless you, have a good time, see you in a bit. Bye bye.